Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc's Dumpster, where it's a review of the movie The Room. <laughs> Sorry, it's supposed to be a serious review. It's the story of a guy named Johnny who is a successful banker, and he lives in San Francisco with his fiance named Lisa, and there are multiple subplots in this movie. Um, Lisa is basically bored of Johnny, and she starts making up stories about how Johnny treats her and about how she's supposedly pregnant and all this other stuff, but it all turns out to be a, b a big bag of lies. Uh, Johnny's just trying to do everything he can to make Lisa happy, and... And Lisa ultimately wants to uh, have an affair, and eventually does have an affair, with Johnny's best friend, Mark. Of course, Mark is reluctant the first few times, but he gives in, I think, both times. There's also a plot involving uh, their friend, Denny, who's mixed up in, with some sort of a drug dealer, but that eventually gets solved within about, oh, five minutes. And Lisa is dealing with her mother, who's apparently dying of breast cancer. But that subplot goes nowhere either. <laughs> it's pretty much all about Johnny and Lisa, and Johnny's birthday's coming up. And that's when Mark decides to drop a bombshell on him, and pretty much try to tell him that he and Lisa are having an affair. Johnny doesn't take it too well at first and tries to pick a fight with Mark by calling him a chicken. <laughs> this is a drama, right? <laughs> okay. Um, so he and Mark get into a fight. Johnny decides to call the whole thing off. Then all of a sudden he decides he wants to start another fight with, with Mark. They get into it again. Johnny decides that everybody has betrayed him. He tears the apartment apart and then takes his own life. Sometime later, Mark and Lisa find Johnny on the floor. And Lisa decides to tell Mark that they can finally be together, but Mark says, Are you crazy? <laughs> Denny comes in, sees what happened, and they all hold each other to comfort each other as they all cry over the late Johnny. The movie was written, produced, directed, I think executive produced, um, written by, I think I already said that. Um, um, all kinds of things by Tommy Wiseau. But the question is, I think you already know the answer. Does this movie belong in a dumpster? Oh, my goodness. You know what? This movie is insanely bad. <laughs> I'm not even sure what room they're supposed to be referring to in this movie. The front room? Uh, the bedroom? I don't know. <laughs> oh... <laughs> I'm trying to do this straight as I can, gang, but this movie is so horrible. <laughs> so many bad, memorable lines in this movie, and so much badness to this movie. You cannot look at this movie and just go, yeah, it's a, it's a drama. Mm -hmm. You're laughing through it. <laughs> oh. I... You know what, gang? If you've seen this movie, if, if you want to leave a comment down below about how you feel about it, please do. But if you also want to, leave your favorite moment, your favorite line of this movie, because I, I can't repeat most of them, but, but they were just, oh my, oh my goodness, this is, oh. Apparently this movie was based off a play that Tommy Wiseau did, and he uh, spent $6 million trying to get this movie put together through uh, budget and promotion and all this other stuff. And you know what's really insane about this movie? 
there's a video game based on this movie. And it looks like an old Nintendo game. <laughs> I don't know if it's still out there or not, but... Uh, I'm not even sure how you play it, but there you guys have it. A review of... <laughs> a review of The Room. <laughs> videos, feel free to subscribe if you got a movie that belongs in a dumpster, but it came out of some sort of room, <laughs> or some weirdo's mind. <laughs> Send it my way and I'll get it on ASAP. <laughs> Thank you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on. I'm going to go wipe my eyes right now because i got tears running down from laughing so much.